Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid. This could play out a week later, could play out today, whatever. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 19th? Happy new moon. This is a new moon energy. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is trying to do too much. This is over overwhelmed, burdened. Okay, we got somebody that's carrying heavy weight on their back. You know, they're they're feeling weighed down, overwhelmed in some way. May have too many responsibilities. This is a little bit too much. Ah, the devil. The devil is greed. They may be trying to do too much because of greed. The devil is ruled by ego. Page of Cups reversed and the Strength reversed. So that we could have an unrequited love situation. Somebody is about to get their bubble burst. We also have Strength reversed. This is definitely overwhelmed, um, not healthy. This is toxic. So there's something somebody needs to let go of. They're holding on to something that is not not healthy. Could be an addiction. Okay, and addictions come in many forms. Okay, but the devil is all as not as it seems. The devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. Um, Page of Cups reversed is probably not the best news. Okay, uh, could be some unwelcome news that is coming. Um, shattered dreams, bubble burst, um, drama queen, rejection, tears, uh, sadness with the strength reversed as well. So there's there's something going on here. The strength reversed is lack of confidence. It's cowardly actions, um, low self esteem. Somebody may be self medicating. Okay, they they could be. Maybe they're self medicating. Um, definitely overwhelmed by everything that is going on. Perhaps with life right now. Um, this is holding on to something you need to let go of. It's very unhealthy for you. Very unhealthy. We need to get some more cards. What does this person need to let go of? An addiction by the looks of things. It could be codependency here. Ah, Queen of Cups. So now the Queen of Cups is somebody that is very loving. I said, What does this person need to let go of? Well, this person and, and I think what they need to let go of is over here. So they need to let go of something that is toxic. Maybe it's greed. Maybe it's pride. Because this is a card of pride and this is a card of pride. Ego. We have somebody here that is very burdened. They are burdened probably by trying to prove themselves. But it looks like they're looking at an opportunity for love. So we have somebody here that is looking. You notice this person is looking at an opportunity for love. Now the Queen of Cups is a healer. Okay, this person is a healer, a lover. Somebody that is very beautiful, um, sweet, delicate. But whoever this person is that is looking at this individual who is very loving, and this person has a very big heart, somebody's obviously looking at this person, but their ego and pride may be stopping them from sending a message. They, you know, they may, it may be stopping them from, uh, following their heart by the looks of things ego is in the way anyway this page of cups they may maybe they may feel like they're going to be rejected there's this feeling inadequate so we may have an individual that is really struggling they're struggling this person is struggling struggling with their pride anyhow let's get some more cards Knight of Cups. So this per whoever this person is, it is looking for a relationship. They are looking for love. They're wanting love. They're they're wanting it. But they're but right next to the page of cups reverse. I don't feel like they're communicating. They want it. 
They have a lot of love to offer, but there's pride in the way. They may be in a dark place. Ah, the lovers. So the lovers is a choice and there's consequences. So there's consequences. Somebody has to make a choice. Do they follow their heart or they, do they let fear of rejection get in the way? Because this is fear and this is rejection. So this is fear of rejection. Somebody, you know, is, is tempted. They are tempted to follow their heart. They feel a love connection. But there's fear in the way. They may feel inadequate. Now, love, the lovers is a choice. There's consequences either way. You can, you know, choose to not follow your heart and lose the opportunity. Or you can follow your heart and get the opportunity. The choice is yours. So we do have one individual that has a very big heart. They are look they this person is emotionally available. Could be an intuitive, a healer, something somebody that is probably very spiritual. Uh, we have uh, somebody that is 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 very they desire to be in a relationship with somebody. They do have that desire, but there may have even been a previous rejection because this is this is a rejection of some sort. They're afraid to get their bubble burst by the looks of things. But anyway, the lovers is um, that moment of choice. There's probably a soulmate connection here. And it is, this is a major choice. It's a major card. This is a major. Um, I feel like we have, this is, we could be falling in love. Somebody may be falling in love or they are in love with somebody. Um, but pride is in the way because this is a pride and this one is too. And that's why there's no communication. There's no communication no power. This is feeling powerless. Somebody is feeling powerless. Too, too afraid. Strength reversed is too afraid. Too afraid to communicate. You do have somebody here that is too afraid, but they want to. They really do want to. Ah, somebody has gained a lot of independence. The Nine of Pentacles is an independent person that is enjoying the finer things in life that is single and grateful and doing quite well. Somebody has picked themselves up and they have built themselves up to a very comfortable place. And that's why this person feels inadequate. They feel like they're not good enough or they feel like they'll be rejected because this is comfortably independent. We have somebody here that is, is doing very well on their own, but they have an admirer that wants to be in a relationship with them, but there's whoever this person is that is uh, maybe pining over or, you know, watching or whatever is just too fearful. Because, I mean, this is this is like the Empress and the Minor Arcana, okay? The, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a very strong, independent person who has picked themselves up by themselves. And it feels like this person, you know, is probably just doing their own thing. Not really interested in, you know, a relationship. They're quite comfortable on their own. And maybe they feel like they'll be rejected if they go near. This person doesn't need me. They don't need me. But we do have an independent person that, this could be a business owner, somebody that is definitely abundant. This person is abundant on their own. They don't need anybody. So we have whoever this person is has somebody that is crushing on them or does want to have a relationship with them. But there's big fear of rejection. Four of Wands. Now, Four of Wands is getting together. It's happiness. It's home. It's uh, commitment. Has to do. This has to do with commitment. Perhaps this. This. You know, somebody may be bogged down and and held back by a commitment. Maybe it's a toxic commitment that they're in. Th 
there could even be fear of commitment here. Because this is commitment. This is overwhelmed. There, this is seizing a new opportunity after missing it. Somebody had, may have lost an opportunity because of fear of commitment. Because they didn't want to commit. But now they're interested. Okay, now they're interested. Now they see. They may see that this is the commitment they want, but they're definitely overwhelmed. Hangman. Hangman is seeing th something from a new perspective. So I do believe we have an individual that is starting to see something from a new perspective. Their ego is still in the way because they haven't communicated yet. They want this opportunity. They, they, pro they may have missed it in the past or they ignored it in the past or something like that. But now they want it. They, they have an individual here that has a big heart. They see it very clearly. They're fearful of being rejected. They are definitely interested. Uh, whoever they are interested in is very abundant and doing quite well on their own. They've gained, somebody has gained some, learned a lesson. They've learned a lesson. They've gained some sort of enlightenment through isolation, right? They may have wasted time. They may have sacrificed themselves trying to prove something because this is trying to prove and this is trying to prove. Somebody tried to prove something. They may have tried to teach somebody a lesson. This is, there's ego here. There is some ego here. Somebody's pride is in the way of happiness per se. But I do believe we have somebody here. This is an action card. I think that we have somebody here that is going to act on their desires. Right now their ego is in the way, but I feel like they are and they're and they're they're sac they're, they're they're sacrificing, they're wasting time. We have somebody here that, and they may have wasted a lot of time already. Maybe in a another commitment that was unhealthy trying to prove something. There's codependency issues here, so somebody may have, you know, gotten into something because of codependent reasons, and now they're, you know, they need to let go of that. They definitely need to let go of whatever it is that is unhealthy. Maybe it's their ego. Maybe it's their pride. Somebody's holding on to something they need to let go of, and it could be a commitment that they're in now, whatever the case is so that they can follow their heart. But anyhow, this is taking action. Somebody is going to be taking action towards this individual who isn't even looking. This person's just doing their thing, working. Very hard worker here. Um, this person that is very abundant, isn't communicating, probably isn't very interested because, you know, they're just doing their own thing. But there is an unexpected opportunity for love coming in for this person who is very independent. There is a love offer coming in. I feel like this love offer is coming from a Capricorn, a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Gemini. Could be a Leo. Five of Wands, there's probably a lot of competition. This is a card of competition. There probably is. I mean, this person right here has a, is very abundant. Doesn't, nobody, doesn't need somebody to complete them. This is a card of competition. And it's needing to fight. If you want this person, you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to put in effort. So somebody, I think that we do have a romantic here that is about to jump into the competition. It's like they want to play too. <laughs> but this this uh, nine of pentacles, and this could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. This nine of pentacles is somebody that, you know, is knows their value. This is somebody that is very valuable. And probably chooses to be single, you know. 
not going to not going to give up their singlehood for a player. Definitely not. So anyhow, I feel as though there is some sort of uh, individual we have an individual here with that knight of cups that has their eye on this strong independent person who has a lot to offer this is a love connection with the lovers card it's very unexpected it's an unexpected uh offer of love or invite there could be an invite you may somebody may even invite somebody out for a drink but there's a lot of fear there is fear, because this is fear, okay? And that's why there's no communication. But anyway, I feel like this person is going to have to overcome their fear. They're going to have to overcome their fear of rejection, and they're going to have to overcome their fear of commitment. They definitely want this opportunity, and I think that I think that they're going to. I think that they are going to. I feel like they're going to uh, decide to get in on it. It's like, I want in. <laughs> I want in. Oh, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody lost. And this may be an opportunity that was lost in the past. If this person keeps wasting time, they will lose the opportunity. This is losing a golden opportunity. It's letting it slip away by wasting time. Or they may have done that in the past. And maybe that's where they gained their enlightenment. They may have thrown a golden opportunity away by trying to prove something. Fighting playing games, but I feel like they've been enlightened. They got some sort of new perspective and now they don't want to let it slip away. And maybe it's almost gone. Page of wands reverse. Now the page of wands reverse is a person that is immature. This person may be, uh, may have a victim mentality. They lose focus. Okay, they don't follow through with things. Um, this is this this is like somebody that makes excuses and procrastinates. We have a procrastinator here, but we have the page of Pentacles on the bottom. This is could be an apology. This is starting from scratch. This is starting over. It's building a new foundation from from square one. Okay, it's finding the moral backbone to do the right thing, even though it's not easy to do what you got to do to bring success. If you grab the opportunity before it slips away, it can lead to something long term, something solid, something stable, something permanent. But it's not going to be easy and it's going to and it's going to need hard work. So if somebody, you know, it looks like we have somebody here that is, is definitely worried. It's like they have an opportunity right now. They do. <laughs> they better take it before it slips away because it looks like there's some sort of competition here. Anyhow, this is a new door opening, a new enterprise. It's a new opportunity that it's a big one. It's a big opportunity to build something solid, but it's definitely not going to be easy. And it may re require learning some new skills or trying really, really hard and not losing focus. I feel like in the past, this person lost their focus. They may have had a wandering eye. They were still playing games, but now they're looking for something solid and they got their eye on this individual who is very abundant. Pro definitely set financially not this person is set financially they don't they're not struggling financially it's not reverse so this is somebody that doesn't have anything to worry about this person doesn't need somebody to take care of them very secure very stable could have their own business there there could be a gift that is coming this person somebody may be coming with a gift it could even be an apology this is somebody who finds their backbone. They take charge. 
So I do believe there is a mess. This is a messenger. So I do believe there is a message that is coming from an individual that is pretty weary. I feel like this person is is definitely fearful. They're fearful of rejection, but I feel like they're going and they may have missed dropped the ball in the past or something like that. Or they missed the opportunity at one point for who knows what reason. Maybe it was their ego. It looks like it was their pride. But I feel like they're going to they're going to it's almost like a peace offering or either they put in an effort. It's like, OK, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to start over. I'm ready to build a foundation. You know, this is this is this pentacle. If you add it to the nine of pentacles, it's like it equals the ten of pentacles. OK, which is permanence. It, it's long term stability. It's complete success. So this is this could be two people coming together you know, to build complete success, a successful home, a successful business. Maybe they combine them, combine their whatever it is, businesses or their homes or whatever. But this, it, if you add this one to the nines, ten of pentacles, that is success. That is permanence. That is long-term family uh, comfort, okay? Um, Somebody may be wanting to add to this person's, you know, I can add, I have something to give you, you know, we could do this together. I don't know what that means, but I, I do feel like we have an offer coming for this individual who is just uh, doing their own thing. It's like, and whoever is coming is very real. They are very genuine, genuine, and they are ready to put in the work. It's like they want this. And they, they have some sort of attraction. They're, they they do with that devil card. They are very attracted. They are uh, very, very... Uh, well, if you think about the devil and the lover's card, those are both a sexual attraction as well. So there is definitely an attraction here. This person is not just attracted to the abundance. They're attracted to everything. But I feel like... They've wasted time, probably in a toxic relationship, trying to prove something, you know, um, I don't know, maybe to society or to the person, somebody else. Um, they missed an opportunity, but now I think they're, they're ready to, to grab it before it slips away to the competition, I guess. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So, yeah, we have this very abundant individual here that is just, you know, doing their own thing. Very, very comfortable, very abundant, just waiting. This person is waiting for that one person, which has the pinnacle, okay, to add to their life. And that person is coming. That's what I see. So I believe there is going to be a real, this is very real, genuine Invite, offer, message, apology, something like that that is coming in. Good luck. And you may be receiving a gift. 